What's up, everybody? Welcome to part two of the Q&A. It's a long one. Let's get started. Gucci, <laughs> her name is Gucci underscore Ho, except it's like classy Louisiana version of Ho, like a French version, H-E-A-U-X. Uh, how has your personality changed since college? That is a good one. Um, I feel like I've grown in myself more because I have the ability to. When you're in a structured setting, if you or a systematic setting kind of, it's hard to fight against the system and still succeed in the system. There's a certain part of you that you have to sacrifice for the system. And that's how I've, that sounds so... In society... But no, that's how it was. Like in college, I, you can't go but so far left um, and still be successful right there in the middle. And uh, once I got out of college, I didn't have that school stuff to hold me back anymore. So I got to really just be myself. Yeah, my personality, I wouldn't say it's changed, but it's become a lot more secure and more fine-tuned into what it always was underneath. How, how you dress so cool? I really don't, man. I just, as Lenny says, go put on clothes. And if you have to go like that in the mirror, it's perfect. That's how you get rhetoric. Uh, what most originally inspired you to pursue a career in performing arts? Probably when I was in fourth grade and I did karaoke in a Catholic school of, no, fourth grade I did Bon Jovi, It's My Life. But fifth grade was when I was like, yes. Fifth grade in Catholic school, I went to Catholic school two years. But in fifth grade, I did a karaoke of Pretty Fly for a White Guy by The Offspring and I like spiked my hair in a mohawk and colored it purple or green or something like that. And I was the lead singer, I was like, this is tight. Cause I was, I was a super introvert at that age. You know, I make funny quips and stuff in class, but I wouldn't go out. Like, I'm not gonna be the guy that comes up to you and says, let's be friends. Like, that's part of the reason that I've always dressed crazy is it's a whole lot easier for other people to come to you and be like, hey, that's cool shoes. And I'm like, yes, cool shoes, I thank you. Can we be friends? That's uh, that's when I knew that I wanted to do it. And then doing like coffee shop stuff in high school. Hey, Artiega, how were your days in high school? Don't miss them. Can we expect any more new, mu new music from you soon? P.S. Thanks for taking a pic with me and my bro at the hotel in L.A. Oh yeah, in the lobby, I remember you guys. Um, yes, new music January. <laughs> P underscore Goss. Are you stuck up on this roller coaster ride? Uh, not anymore, ish. Sometimes, some days I am. That dude, J True. What helps you deal with the bullshit everyday life brings? And how has that changed as you become a full-fledged member of the entertainment industry? Dude, it hasn't changed, it's just different. What helps me deal with it? Literally, and I say this every time and everybody, I know there are some people who are like, oh, come on dude, give me a real answer. Cause I'm alive, I wake up and I have the opportunity to deal with it. Every time I do deal with it, and, and this is why I run. The majority of times I run. That's, people are like, oh, you're a runner. I'm not a runner, man, I just, I go running because I love how I feel afterwards. There's some days that I like to run, but it's like dealing with the BS in life. At the end of it, once you overcome it, you feel a whole lot better. Everything that I've done and all the other hurdles that I've gotten over up to this point have helped to make this crazy hurdle become easier. Who's your favorite hip hop artist that isn't mainstream? Uh, probably Ian, Kevin Abstract. Fit Gal Sal said, did, did deep into what went into creating Shelter? That question, I don't know what that question is saying. If you're asking if I had to dig deep, yes, I really had to dig deep. I couldn't make that song around anybody. Uh, who's my fashion inspiration? My grandma. Whole milk, whole milk or skim milk, almond milk. Which artist inspired you to make music? Uh, let's go down the line. I'd say Bradley Knoll from Sublime, Ben Gibbard, Death Cat for Cutie, Jesse Lacey, Brand New, uh, and Frank Ocean. G Gilberto said, what won't you do in life? Whatever I don't want to do. Actually, there are a lot of things I don't want to do that sometimes I have to do. Gogurt or Danimals, he asked also. That's, wow. You went from really deep to Gogurt Danimals. Oh, uh, Gogurt. Danimals are too tough. Gogurt, you can get all the way from the, that's gonna look weird, all the way from the bottom of the Gogurt pack, all the way from the bottom, and the Danimals. <laughs> the Danimals. The Danimals, you gotta stick your tongue in the thing to get the get the rest of the yogurt out, it gets stuck. You don't get all of the Danimals, so Gogurt is clearly better. It's like the freeze pop of yogurt. It's just so much more convenient. Somebody, here's another one. Nirvana is a cool dude. It's a rock band, dude. Thank you. Thank you. What is the square, square root of 196? A number that multiplied by itself would equal 196. Can you list your top three travel necessities that make life on the road easier? Uh, right now, my Nintendo Switch, to be honest. Uh, Mophie chargers and a good attitude. Honest to God, I know I sound like a freaking dad right now, but a good attitude will get you so much further. Even when people at TSA suck or the locals hate you for being there, having a good attitude and not letting that ruin the rest of your trip, that's a top thing. 
Also, too, what's one, one thing I learned about myself this year? That I was right. My gut was right the whole time. I was supposed to make music. Uh, what's my favorite streetwear brand? I don't really have one. I was, you guys don't understand. I wear, sometimes you guys are like, those jeans are awesome. I got them for like $3. What would a world populated by clones of you be like? Oh, God. No, I couldn't do it. Everybody would be overthinking all the time. Can you describe the meaning behind Shelter's cover art and how I came up with it? I will describe that in the making of video because it is deep and I was talking before about how it all kind of ties in. Safia Musa, why didn't you want to tell the rest of the team when you started making music? Um, I didn't want to tell anybody. It wasn't the rest of the team. I didn't want to tell anybody because I was insecure about it. This is legitimately my life I'm pulling from. So that's why when you relate to it, it feels so good. And that's why I was scared to show anybody because this is a side of my personal life that I kept secret. And then I turned my insecurities into art. Shut up, Rich. Uh, am I originally from London? No. Yes, I'm from London. That's a terrible accent. They're gonna call me out if you put that on there. <laughs> Did I enjoy performing in Dublin when I come back again? Yes, that was freaking awesome. Vanessa underscore, ooh. What was your inspiration for Shelter, by the way? Love you so much, my dude, love your music. Thank you. I think I answered that earlier though, but I wanna give you the shout out anyway. SDR underscore 116, what software do you use for recording? Ableton. I everything in Ableton. All my VSTs I pull in a day, I mix in Ableton, everything except for mastering. I mastered it myself and then I sent it off. I was like, there's no way I'm gonna screw this first one up. But yeah, everything from the beginning scratch ideas until it is completely mixed and sent off to mastering is done within Ableton. And that program is not made for that, but it works for me. Will there be more off the records? Yes. I'm gonna come back with weeklies very soon. Josie Feeney, uh, Josie underscore Feeney asks, how do you stay motivated? What accomplishment are you most proud of? What's the best advice you were ever given? That's a triple question, Jesse. Um, how do I stay motivated? I think I answered that before with it just waking up every single day. And setting goals for yourself. I believe that your life should be purpose driven, but to keep you motivated, you can be goal driven. If you look at a timeline, you got where you are right now and end of your life. At the end of your life is the purpose, You've once you've fulfilled that. And along that, goals are just bumps on the timeline. They're little dots on the timeline. So if you strive towards your purpose, you're gonna accomplish all those goals on the way. What accomplishment are you most proud of? Uh, at this point, putting out that song. Cause that was not just skill wise, but mentally. I'm sure there's other stuff, but I'm one track line right now. What's the best advice you were ever given? I don't think it was, okay, maybe it wasn't like an actual verbal sentence. Like nobody hit me with a movie quote. Um, but my parents were very good at allowing me to trust myself and my instincts without them looking over my shoulder from a very young age. Like as soon as I went to college, they just kind of, you know, you are off on your own now, make your own decisions. If you want help, you can ask, but we're not gonna give you any, you know, unwanted advice. So I think that was the best advice I was given was no advice. These people that have raised me, allowing me to develop into a real human being. The original Hex Girl, what makes you the happiest? Making music. It's Nuke Peterson, how long did it take to make shelter? I'll answer that in the making of video. See, he gets it. Nirvana is a cool dude, LOL. See, I was trolling. What's my studio setup look like? It depends on which Airbnb I was in. Um, when I was making the majority of this, it was my MacBook, my Duet, uh, my TC Helicon that I used as a preamp, which you should not do, my Shure mic, and uh, my Ableton Push. And that was it. Well, that's how I made the majority of everything. I'll get into that when I do the making up videos. Pop underscore time 21. Would you rather sing and perform in front of a crowd or DJ in front of a crowd? Sing and perform, for sure. I do like DJing though. It's just in my heart that I want to move on to these things. My question is, what are your other hobbies besides being a fantastic music artist? Thank you. Also, I regret not approaching you in Nashville because I didn't want to overwhelm you. Thank you again. I probably would have been overwhelmed though. You can do it. Other hobbies besides music? Freaking man. Snowboarding, I guess that would be a hobby because that's not work. Riding my bike and running, fitness stuff. What's crazy is I wouldn't even call myself a fitness guy. Like I don't go to the gym or anything. I just like cardio. e shrek puppies or kittens? Puppies, I have a heart. <laughs> no, kitt kittens are cool, cats, once they grow up, you know, some of them are good, some of them are not, but puppies. What was the best part about touring Europe, Adam9502? Everything, I love being in Europe. I'm gonna move to Berlin at some point for some extended period of time. Are you signed with a record label or making music independently? Independently. Uh, I've legitimately done everything myself. I even wrote my own press release this time. You know, I understand that I can't do everything myself if I really wanna progress. But to kind of get this first one out, I wanted to set a precedent so that I know what I'm doing and I know the value of people that help me down the line. Even doing these 
concerts and stuff, I used to do the load in. I used to get the artist catering. I used to transport the artists from the hotel to the airport and all that while I was in college. So I understand what that's like for people that do that for us. Biggest inspirations while making music? Um, probably just all the stuff that I've pent up internally for the past God knows how many years. Oh, that's a good question. Ayana McKenzie, how did you wash the pin jacket? Did you take the pins off every time or keep them on and wash the jacket somehow? I haven't washed it. I put it in the freezer to kill the germs, but I haven't been able to wear it in forever because the thing is like 800 pounds. Will I live, live to see short hair rhetoric again? You will live to see it? Maybe, actually maybe. I've always wanted long hair, it's so much easier. You just get out of the shower, put it in a bun, it's done. I haven't cut my hair in years. I look like a completely different person when it's down. Nobody sees it when it's down. That's like my biggest secret. Favorite things to do on the road when taking a break from making music is going on a run. I used to do a thing where I'd run to all the baseball stadiums, um, but once we started doing bigger shows, we became further and further away from the baseball stadiums, so I can't do that anymore. But going on a run around the city really gives you a better perspective of you know, where the people that are coming to your show are coming from. And I feel like I appreciate the city a whole lot more. And I can tell when people ask me, oh, Seattle, I've never been to Seattle, how is it? I can't, I'm not like, oh, you know, the Whammoo Theater is cool. It's, oh, downtown and this and that and the third, because I've actually been through the city, so that's my favorite part. You like what I got going on? Thank you, Money Making Metro. Uh, what is your best advice on fashion? Do what makes you comfy. That's all that really matters, man. Just wear stuff that makes you comfy. If people stare at you, you gave them something to stare at that day and you're a part of their story of that day and it's awesome. And it's also, I've met a lot of cool people by wearing weird things in weird settings. Like I'll wear crazy outfits in the nice part of a plane. And you know, the person beside me is in a business suit and we strike up a conversation and I've met somebody awesome. People recognize when you're being yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching part two of the Q and A. I can't believe, but it's, it's still overwhelming to me the amount of support that I've gotten was Shelter because as I've answered in some of the questions, like it was such a personal song. Even though it's been out like a month now, it feels surreal that it was out. To see that it's helped you or that you've related to it or that you're even curious about it or that you've even freaking heard it is so awesome because there was a point in time where I wouldn't show it to anybody. So thank you guys again for that, asking awesome questions as always. It's not, it's never like surface level questions. You guys ask awesome questions that I love to talk about. That's what I'm gonna do. When I have my shows, I'm gonna definitely do Q and A's. Who knows, they might be in the middle of the freaking concert. You can be like, my girlfriend broke up with me. What do you, you know what I mean? I say it all the time. Somebody also asks, what's your favorite part? I love meeting people. I wanna hear your story and hang out and be friends. You guys don't understand that you have helped like being on tour and meeting all you guys has helped me to really sit down and write songs because I understand what other people relate to from hearing your stories too. So thanks again for asking awesome questions. That is it for part two and see you guys on another vlog, another off the record. We are in a hotel in somewhere in California right now, in LA. JT just came by, that's the first thing that he shot for me. So thanks JT and that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. That's it for the Q and A. Thank you guys for tuning in because that's it for the Q&A and that's it for the Q&A. So um, thank you guys for tuning in. See you next time.